When word went around Chuka Town that Governor Njuki was to attend a prayer function in Chuka Town, organized by the clergy in regards to the corruption charges he faces, they lined up the streets and demanded he addresses them, hey! pulling a crowd that wanted to hear from him. To others, it was a political move to show he was still in charge of the county after word had gone around his deputy engineer Francis Kagwima with the help of some unnamed politicians in the county had planned a takeover as acting governor until the case Njuki faces in court is hard and determined. So I know in one time our people to feel that there's a disadvantage because Njuki is in on trial. Because that Kanidi is intact. Even if I was not here today, this function would still have taken place. Because he's that Kanidi. In the meeting with the clergy from the county's 15 wards, Governor Njuki reiterated his resolve to work and fight off his battle, noting he was confident of being vindicated. I know there will be battles in this county. I am not talking about politics of 2022. I am talking about delivering services in the two years. I have therefore told my workers that when the rest of the country is going home, Kwasabu County is in Afunga. Arkanidi County remains wide open because there's no reason to go home because they've been paid the service. Njuki was charged alongside 14 others for irregular procurement of an incinerator at the cost of 34 million shillings, and thus was barred from accessing office until the case was heard and determined. Just last week, the county's executive committee members called a press conference and said they would take no other orders other than those from Juki reacting to a move by the deputy who had made moves akin to showing he was in charge. Daniel Kitu, K24 News.